Computers, one of the best ideas humans ever came up with. They went from big machines for simple calculations to having all of that and much more in a small device that fits in your pocket. And it's only getting better and better as time passes. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how computers took over the world. But before we do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. But for now, here is a brief video on the history and evolution of computers. Although computing seemed like a relatively modern invention, computing actually dates back to the early 1800s. And throughout computing history, there has not been a lone inventor or a single first computer. The invention of the computer was incremental with dozens of scientists and mathematicians building on their predecessors. So in this video, we're going to be starting the evolution of the computer from the 1930s. The 1930s marked the beginning of calculating machines which were considered the first programmable computer. Conrad Zeus created what became known as the first programmable computer, the Z1, in 1936 in his parents' living room in Berlin. He assembled metal plates, pins and old film, creating a machine that could easily add and subtract. Although his early models were destroyed in World War II, Zeus is credited with creating the first digital computer. In the 1940s, computers took up entire rooms like the ENIAC, which was once called the mathematical robot. John Mockley created the ENIAC during World War II to help the army with ballistic analytics. The machine could calculate thousands of problems each second. The large-scale ENIAC weighed 30 tons and needed a 1,500-square-foot room to house the 40 cabinets, 6,000 switches, and 18,000 vacuum tubes that comprised the machine. Some called his invention the beginning of the computer age. In the 1950s, computers were strictly used for scientific and engineering research, like the Joniac, which was once described as a helpful assistant for mathematicians. The Joniac was completed in 1954 and was used by RAND researchers. The massive machine weighed just over 2 tons with over 5,000 vacuum tubes. This early computer operated for 13 years or 51,349 hours before being dismantled in the 1960s. But everything changed when the Programma 101 became the first desktop computer sold to the average consumer. Up until 1965, computers were reserved for mathematicians and engineers in a lab setting. The Programma 101 changed everything by offering the general public a desktop computer that anyone could use. The 65-pound machine was the size of a typewriter and had 37 keys and a built-in printer. As personal computers became popular in the 1970s, the Xerox Alto helped pave the way for Steve Jobs' Apple. The Xerox Alto was created in the 70s as a personal computer that could print documents and send emails. What is most notable about the computer was its design, which included a mouse, keyboard and a screen. This state-of-the-art design would later influence the Apple design. In the 80s, Apple's Macintosh was described as a game-changer for the computer industry. When Steve Jobs introduced the first Macintosh computer in 1984, Consumer Reports called it a dazzling display of technical wizardry. The Macintosh had a keyboard, a mouse, and a small 9-inch screen. The computer which weighed in at 22 pounds and cost $2,495 was applauded for its interface of windows and icons as the 90s marked the period of self-expression. Apple released the famous iMac G3 which was customizable. The iMac G3 was launched in 1998 after Steve Jobs returned to Apple in 1997. The computer quickly became known for its Bondi Blue clear casing. The 38-pound iMac included USB ports, a keyboard, and a mouse. It was meant to be portable and customizable. In the early 2000s, laptops became increasingly popular, especially after Apple launched its MacBook Air. And in 2008, Steve Jobs slid the first MacBook Air from a manila envelope and shocked everyone at Apple's Macworld with how thin the laptop was, measuring only 0.76-inch thick. This expertly designed laptop changed the industry forever. Apple got rid of the CD drive and only included a USB port and a headphone jack. 
At the time, the minimalistic device cost $1,799 and today, computers come in all shapes and sizes, including tablets. Today's most innovative computer are tablets, which are simple touchscreens, without a keyboard and a mouse. But even though tablet sales are on the decline, 33 million tablets were sold in 2018. And the market is also filled with other computer models, including the MacBook Pro, iMac, Dell, XPS, and iPhones. So that was a brief history of the evolution of computers. We covered the most important key moments that changed how we use computers today. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment below, tell us what evolution you want us to cover next. And hit that notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.